Hello, this is Dr. Mark Miravalli, and we are here in Amsterdam. It is Pentecost Sunday, and we are in what many think is the most universal city in the world. There's over 120 different nationalities represented in Amsterdam. And perhaps that's the reason why the mother of Jesus, the lady of all nations, chose to come here in apparitions from 1945 to 1959, speaking about a universal message giving a prayer for all people to pray and ultimately seeking the proclamation of a dogma, a solemn proclamation that she is indeed the spiritual mother of all peoples under its three essential aspects of co-redemptrix, mediatrix of all graces and advocate. Today on Pentecost Sunday, there is a announcement that is being made at an international day of prayer here in Amsterdam of a worldwide open petition to Pope Benedict for a new coming of the Holy Spirit. And thanks be to God for modern means and the Franciscans of the Immaculate because you can get this as it's happening today in Amsterdam on Pentecost Sunday. It is an open petition where concerned citizens and faithful throughout the world have come together. And I want to read you the petitions, but I also want to mention that there have been a number of uh, celebrities, international Catholic celebrities, What's up? What's up? that have led the campaign for this event in, in really an extraordinary way. We, may, we might get a couple of these guys to sign with us too. So, um, This petition is an international petition. Uh, who is behind this petition? First of all, we have uh, Steve McAveedy, who is the producer of The Passion of the Christ, Braveheart, Bella and his wife Susie. We have the international Rwandan author and speaker, uh, Immaculate, who has so strongly supported this petition for a new Pentecost that she says it's something that's uh, of the most paramount importance. We have Mother Angelica, who for many years has been asking uh, and joining the petition for a fifth dogma. Let me read to you the petition and uh, give you an idea of why so many are so quickly jumping on this as an event for a new coming of the Holy Spirit. It is addressed to the Holy Father. Your Holiness, we are gravely concerned about the present world situation. We are concerned about wars, especially in the Middle East, and rumors of more wars. We are concerned about the worldwide economic crisis and increasing poverty. We are concerned about those dying of hunger, especially the children. We are concerned about family breakdown and moral decline. We are concerned about the increase in abuse of women and of children. We are concerned about the increase in natural disasters and their victims. We do not believe that we can solve these problems on our own. We believe we need God's help. We need a new coming of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit overshadowed Mary and through Mary, Jesus entered the world. Mary prayed for the Holy Spirit to come at Pentecost, and the Holy Spirit came. Mary is ready to intercede for a new coming of the Holy Spirit for the world now. Mary has said that she will intercede for a new Pentecost if you, Holy Father, would publicly proclaim her role as the spiritual mother of humanity. The proclamation will lead to a new descent of the Holy Spirit and an era of world peace. See Fatima Amsterdam Akita apparitions. We therefore ask you, Your Holiness, Pope Benedict XVI, please to publicly proclaim Mary as our spiritual mother. We must do something to stop the increasing darkness of world events, and we believe in the powerful intercession of Mary as advocate to bring the light of the Holy Spirit into the world today. Please, Holy Father, proclaim Mary as our spiritual mother for the sake of the human race. Know that millions support you in your crucial mission to open the door for the Lord to bring grace, redemption, and peace through his Holy Spirit. As Peter, in our time, you have the key. We ask you, brothers and sisters in the world who share our concerns, to join this petition to Pope Benedict XVI by adding your name to this open petition on www.peace through a woman.com to contact your local cardinal and bishop to invite your friends and family members through Facebook Twitter 
to join this worldwide campaign for peace through the Holy Spirit. And then it is signed by Steve and Susie McAviti, producer of The Passion, by Mother Angelica, foundress of EWTN, by Immaculate, uh, the author of Left to Tell, um, Catherine Clark, uh, Drew Mariani, national host of Relevant Radio. It's really an extraordinary, extraordinary outpouring of Catholic leaders throughout the world. June Keithley Castro, the patriot uh, and television and radio broadcaster from the Philippines. So I invite you to join these people on this great day. It's Pentecost. What better feast to ask Pope Benedict for a new Pentecost, a new release of the Holy Spirit. I find it so beautiful because it's immersed in the theology of St. Maximilian Kolbe, which tells us that the Holy Spirit comes only through Mary. This is the way Jesus enters the world. This is the way all grace enters the world. The Holy Spirit through Mary as Mediatrix. So go to www.peacethroughawoman.com. We repeat that. Go to peacethroughawoman.com and add your name to this petition, which is starting today on Pentecost. Sunday, even though there's already a couple hundred uh, petitions uh, registered there for, for people who have been surfing the net and found it before the announcement. Uh, it's something of grave importance because if you're concerned about the warring situation in the Middle East, the economic crisis, the family and moral breakdown, basically the situation of the world, and if we have the humility to say, we can't do this on our own, we need the Holy Spirit anew, and it's through Mary. Our Lady has told us that only with the proclamation of this dogma will peace enter the world. So these are her words. So I ask you to go to peacethroughwoman.com. If you're not good on the internet, ask someone else to go and, and uh, assist you. Peacethroughwoman.com, you put your name and the uh, city and state and country, and you can see already in the first couple hundred petitions, it is truly a universal petition. So I ask you, through the power of the Holy Spirit, through the intercession of Mary on this feast, the solemnity of Pentecost, Go and add your name. And this will continue. This is only starting this open petition to our beloved Holy Father. And let's remember that it's Our Lady herself who asked for petitions, where she says on May 31st, 1954, work and ask for this dogma. You should petition the Holy Father for this dogma. Some might say, petitioning the Holy Father gives pressure. No, no, a father wants to hear the desires of the child, even though it's the father's authority to do what he's to do. And it's also true in Canon Law 212, it says that the faithful are obliged to bring to the attention of their pastors things important for the good of the church. Well, my friends, this is important for the good of the church. So join in this online, a worldwide petition for a new Pentecost through the intercession of Our Lady, through the proclamation of Mary as a spiritual mother of all peoples. This is Mark Miravalli saying thanks for being with us here on Pentecost Sunday in Amsterdam, God bless.